These custodians of the people's culture have for decades been participating in national efforts to resolve Nigeria's public health challenges, which continued outbreak of diseases in the country and Nigeria's latest scheme of synchronizing its vaccination campaign with its neighboring nations. The Northern Traditional Leaders Committee, NTLC, a group of paramount rulers in northern Nigeria, are here getting acquainted with what is expected of them. I think there's good information that there are many viruses that when we don't control them, we can export them, and we don't want to be in that position. I would like to use this opportunity to seek the collaboration of all your highnesses that are on the borders with Niger and with Chad to start planning for a campaign later in October so that we have the best possible campaign because we have an effective tool but vaccines only are useful if they result in vaccination. We still need your help to reach the chronically missed children in insecure places. We need to reach them with not just polio vaccines, but all the other routine vaccines, health and nutrition services. Uh, the first is helping make sure we have the right vaccination teams. You know, we need people who are diligent, who are trusted by the community. And many of you have done a great job making sure we pick the right people. While development partners applaud Nigerian government's efforts on vaccination, Leadership of the NCLC has pledged continued support of members to all government policies and programs for citizens' well-being. I urge you to continue to double their efforts. There are more challenges, but we know and we have no doubt within our minds and hearts we are ready to work for our people, for this country and for humanity. Nigeria might have achieved the white polio free status, sustaining the record and meeting the target of ending circulating variants of the virus, is also central in the discourse at this primary healthcare review meeting.